back in the studio, telling you as we continue with our discussions. Amadou Tante is joining us uh, this morning. Good morning once again, Amadou Tante, and welcome. Once more, good morning, Mr. Alasha. Can say good morning to Gladys. Uh, with your due permission, permit me to make this a little uh, solution to the president of uh, the Republic of Cameroon, His Excellency President Paul Bia. I want to use this opportunity to plead with His, His Excellency, to whom I think might have been sleeping ever since uh, the Angkorn crisis started. I'm using this opportunity now to pray to the president that the president should uh, at least hear the cries of the people of this region because the people of Angkorn regions, although the inhabitants of this uh, the conflict Angkorn regions are going through hell. The sufferings and the pains that the people, these people are going through is too much. I'm using this opportunity, as I said, to pray to the President of the Republic to do everything possible for there to be an inclusive and a sincere dialogue between the warring parties to, to, to put an everlasting end to this crisis. I think this, uh, the, what has happening in Angu, or what keeps happening in the Anglo region is more than enough. And uh, these people dying or the properties destroyed, just being destroyed, are those of Cameroonians, and these are all Cameroonian citizens. And Cameroon is a great nation, and I pray that the President of the Republic should continue to make Cameroon a great nation by uh, doing everything possible to end this war now and forever. You are just from, from you, you, you work on the ground. Yeah. Hardly can a month go by without you being in the northwest or southwest regions of the country. So you are speaking from experience, from what you, you're seeing there. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Let, let's talk about this big headline uh, in the Guardian Post newspaper this morning. The paper writes, uh, game over for Anglophones, talking about succession in the country. And uh, the paper is drawing inspiration from the activities of Frank Emmanuel Bia, who is already showing his head or showing, trying to convince some Cameroonians who believe uh, in him that he can lead the country after his father. What is your uh, take on this issue of game over for Anglophones, that there was uh, some quarters, diplomatic uh, uh, international communities calling for a rotatory uh, kind of presidency in the country. There was term for Anglophones to take over now, so that the crisis that you just mentioned, praying for President Pobia to intervene, can be solved by that Anglophone. Okay, thank you once more, Mr. Lasha. Permit me to say that uh, this issue of having an Anglophone, an, an, an Anglophone president in Cameroon is a good issue. I share that idea too, but not within the present context. That's where there's a problem. I think, to the best of my knowledge, I think that if we can have an Anglophone pro uh, president, it should be after there have been an inclusive and a sincere dialogue to end the war first. And the different, the institution, current institutions that we have in Cameroon are changed because I believe that with the present institutions in place, we cannot have a, a, a president that will be able to work well. Because some of the people, some people are thinking that if, maybe if they have an Anglophone, an Anglophone president today, the, the man is going to look into, into issues we, of we Anglophones have, and focus on Anglophones, like, which is not good. We want a president or a president for Cameroon and work for the entire Cameroon because the man, Anglophone, Anglophone, Anglophone may come there and say he wants to maybe reconstruct or do good things for Anglophones and sideline the other part of the French region maybe like the current, current president, because here in, the, in Cameroon now, we have the president now and some of the ministers who think that they are the ones that own Cameroon. We don't want that kind of president. We want a president that will be president for Cameroon. So and you, don't, for all you Cameroon. don't care whether an Anglophone... No, there can be an Anglophone, a rotatory issue, like you're saying, an Anglophone no. problem, president, uh, president. But when they, maybe they, they, they have been an inclusive dialogue, and uh, an inclusive and sincere dialogue, and the fate of Anglophone and everything decided on the table, but from then now we can... Demander simplement, we have a, a particular president, but I'm saying that a, a, the issue of a president cannot end the, con the conflict we have. The, the conflict so can only be ended the president coming with a different vision. We have a different vision. You all know very well that the, even the president of a republic, a country like Cameroon, is being controlled by the, our former colonial masters. And even the institutions in play. We have so, so, so a lot of irrelevant issues because we have so many problems in Cameroon. If we are to resolve this issue, there are so many institutions that need to, need to look into. And so these the institutions institution need to be removed. Like the Senate. The Senate is of no value to Cameroon. We have something like the, what I used to hear that the Economic and Social Council. We always see that, that man when there is a ceremony. And we don't even know what the, the, what the, the role of that man. And we keep hearing of budget billions that are being allocated for him. What's the need of all these kind of things? So we want an institution, strong institution that we don't want strong people. We don't want people, the discriminatory president. We don't have, so want a president that will come and make everything good for Cameroon. We have a free president or so look things in a, in a global you, way I, 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 Cameroon as one and not as two or no. You are just from praying that President Pobia should intervene. So how will mm. President Pobia intervene with the present institutions that you are, you are complaining about? How will he be able to do it with the same former colonial masters influencing him like you are saying, you are claiming, mm -hmm. he's being influenced by former colonial masters. His decision is not independent as a president of a sovereign state. So how is President Pobia going to, to do it now? 
Yeah, it's the not, same things you are talking. About. I think it's not only that his uh, decisions are not uh, independent or whatsoever. Because we Cameroon is a, is not an island. We know that no countries work in a collaboration. With other countries collaboration. Like, so we have a uh, international relation and all that. Like the other day, we saw a, 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 a document coming from the United Nations that are giving instruction to Cameroon, which is a member of that institution. I want mm -hmm. Cameroon to collaborate with the United Nations. Even the French, they come from our former colonial master, United States, and other international institutions. So they should collaborate with them for them to look into the best way of solving of solving this crisis once and for all because one I, a cosmetic solution because what we have been watching with I've, I've been seeing it, it seems to me like a cosmetic solution they have been doing some something that even if it, it works we do know that in the, in the long run the same thing will still happen again Cameroon can do you no know, I'm not saying that Cameroon will do without the, those international no, no, the no they don't Frank, do it not possible Emmanuel, they are yeah. friends over there in the north north region when mm. he went to the north region of the country so putting making things now clear that an anglophone might not or these people they connect for this for the for a